I think it's about time to give you guys a Simpson update. Um, I just give you a little visual walkthrough of what's going on here. Um, right now I'm printing out one of the members that are is going to actually go on Simpson um, Simpson's child. Although this uh, this member is supposed to be eight inches from hole to hole, but it's only seven and a quarter, so I have some scaling issues. But uh, the good news is that the leveling algorithm works pretty good. I'll start to work on that a little bit more. Uh, also, you can notice behind the glass, I put some vinyl. Um, I think it looks pretty cool, and I have to put my little um, plug in for Cube. They uh, provided all the electronics for this. I couldn't have done this without them. Um, okay, so let's see. Cent the central hub, I've changed it up a b little bit. I put some um, a piece of threaded rod through the middle and nuts on both sides to clamp it down pretty tight. Um, I replaced all the hardware with M8 and M3 bolts and nuts. Um, let's see, the block and tackle here, I've made it have three loops instead of just two, and I moved down the uh, the pivot points, or I mean, I moved down the, the where they connect about three quarters of an inch. They used to be two inches from the pivot, now they're two and three quarters. And um, I also, the reason I did that was because I added four springs instead of just one on each axis. These are much weaker springs, but uh, the total stiffness is twice what it was before. And the reason I did that is I was having uh, uh, places where the nozzle could get on the, the bed where it couldn't return from. I'd call them no man lands, but now there are, uh, every place on the bed is, is easily reachable with this machine. Um, I changed the uh, pulley a little bit. I um, I made it where it just slipped on, and it's very, very tight. Um, and I also put spirals on there on my uh, wife's suggestion, so the uh, string stays right in the right place. No set screw whatsoever. Um, I added, uh, I milled out a new um, board for the base, which has the heated beds uh, fit uh, flush with the top of the wood, and um, put some nice hold tabs uh, to hold the glass down. Let's see, I've never showed the uh, the filament drive. Here it is. It's a pretty compact little unit. Um, it's um, just sits on the table, that's it. Um, just like a traditional drive, but has a bowden tube coming out of the top of it. Uh, let's see, what else? I think that's about it. I have a lot of work to do yet. Uh, figure out what's up with my scaling issues and just general increase in, in uh, quality of um, prints. Right now you can see that it's going painfully slow. That's just because I'm um, turning every line segment into 30 little itty bitty line segments and it's just bogging it down. If I did that in firmware, I could um, I could increase this the speed quite a bit. And I'm also not worrying about the speed right now. I'm trying to make the print qualities good as possible um, before I worry about speed. Well, there you have it. Simpson.